make unprofited return. <laughs> Say, I do speak with her, my lord. What then? Why then? Unfold the passion. <laughs> He 
distempered appetite. There is no slander in an allowed fool. Those you do nothing but rail. Oh, uh, nor no railing in a known discreet man. Though he do nothing but reprove. <laughs> now, Mercury endue thee with leasing, for thou speakest well. Just madam, there is at the gate a young gentleman oh. much desirous to speak with you. On the Count of C, knows it. Well, I know not, madam, but tis a fair young man, and well attended. <laughs> <laughs>
warm thou art. Thy tongue, thy face, thy limbs, actions, and spirit do give thee fivefold blame. Not so fast, soft, soft. Unless the master were the man. And now, even so quickly may one catch the plague. Methinks I feel this youth's perfections with an invisible and subtle stealth to creep in at mine eyes. Well, let it be. That what ho, Malvolio? Here, madam. <laughs> Get your service. Run after that same peevish messenger, the county man. He left this ring behind him, would I or not? Tell him I'll none of it. Desire him not to flatter with his lord, nor hold him up with hopes I am not for him. If that the youth will come this way tomorrow, I'll give him reasons for <laughs> <laughs> Right, but hither. She returns this ring to you, sir. Oh. 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 
this lady, who oh, fortune forbid my outside hath not charmed her, she loves me. <laughs> so the cunning of her passion invites me in this churlish messenger. I am the man. <laughs> so as tis, oh, poor lady, she were better love a dream. How easy is it for the proper faults in women's waxen hearts to set their forms? Alas, our frailty is to blame, not we. For such as we are made of, such we be. How will this badge? My master is in love with her, and I, poor monster, fond as much on him that she, mistaken, seems to dote on me. <laughs> what will become of this? You. <laughs>
than a steward. Dost thou think, because thou art virtuous, there shall be no more cakes and ale? Go, sir, rub your chain with crumbs. Uh, why, maniacally. Wait. 
slavery, sooner lost and worn than women's are. I think it well, my lord. Well then, let thy love be younger than thyself, or thy affections cannot hold the bent. The women are as roses, whose fair flower, being once displayed, does fall that very hour. So they are, alas, that they are so, to die, even when they to perfection grow. Are you ready, sir? <laughs> oh. Too well what love. 
women to men they own. In faith they are as true of heart as we. My father had a daughter, loved a man. As it might be perhaps were I a woman, I should your lordship. <laughs> and what's her history? They are blank, my lord. She never told her love. But let concealment, like a worm in the bud, feed on her damask cheek, as she pined in thought, and with a green and yellow melancholy, sat like patience on a monument, smiling at grief. Was not this love indeed? We men may say more, swear more, but in truth our shows are more than will, for still we prove much in our vows, but little in our love. But Diet, your sister, of her love, my boy. I am all the daughters of my father's house, sir. <laughs> and all the brothers, too. <laughs> <laughs> Yet I know not. <laughs> so, shall I to this lady? Hi. That's the theme. <laughs> to her in haste. Give her this jewel. Say, my love can give no place. Bide no denay. Oh! 
Oh, more. Thou canst not choose but know who I am. If thou entertainst my love, let it appear in thy smiling. Joe, I will not smile.
set and prop. I'm terrified, but I'm going to persevere. I feel like I want to die. <laughs> I want to die. <laughs> I think the boys are going to do great. My point of the tour is just cycling down the driveway and seeing some massive stately home. Get to the top of a hill. Every sort of show has been an opportunity to learn and to grow. You know, getting to the top of a massive hill. And you can just see the hills and the mountains. It's beautiful. The challenging points of the tour. Hay fever's one. Our first big cycle. I just came off the bike and the trailer was upside down. Insects or another. I went skidding. And we need to make sure we're eating properly and drinking enough water. And shredded my left side of my body. Um, there's not many scars left. Mostly healed by now. But now we're fine. Why should you come and see a handlebar show? Oh my gosh, you have to come and see it. They'll laugh harder than they've ever laughed before. You will never see Shakespeare done in this way. Not really knowing what to expect. It's entertaining, it's expressive. You'll have a good time. And it's really good fun. I think you're fantastic. No, no, we come every year. All your shows are brilliant. Absolutely so energetic. Brilliant. I thought it was very, very entertaining, very slick, very well done. Really, really energetic, very, very well put together. Funny. Really funny. Look at look at the joy you gave those children. Brilliant. Great couple of hours out. Definitely recommend it. Yay! It's always a good show. Yay! It was a typical British thing. Thank <laughs> you. 
flavour to the youth in your sight, only to be exasperate you, oh. to awake you, your mouse fella. He 
says he'll come. Uh, how shall I feast him? <laughs> Oh, go on. Oh. 
Hey, Betty, you idiots have taken the infection of this. Oh, Nate, pursue him, lest the device take air and taint. Why, we will make him mad indeed. The house will be the quiet. <laughs>
and though tis wonder that enraps me thus, yet tis not madness. Where is Antonio then? I could not find him at the elephant, but there he was, and there I found this credit that he did range the town to seek me out. His counsel might now do me golden service. For though my soul disputes well with my senses that, that this may be some error, but no madness, yet doth this accident and flood of fortune so far exceed all instruments, all discourse, that I am ready to distrust mine eyes and wrangle with my reason that persuades me to any other trust but that I am mad. Or else the lady's mad. <laughs> but if it were so, she could not sway her house, command her followers, give and take back affairs and their dispatch in such a smooth, discreet, and stable bearing as I perceive she doth. <laughs> yeah, there's something in it that is deceivable. Oh, but here comes the lady. Uh, blame not this haste of mine. Thank you. <laughs> if you mean well, now go with me and with this holy man. He's a judge you are. Now, uh, there before him, and underneath that consecrated roof, plight me with the full assurance of your faith that the divine most jealous and doubtful soul may live at peace. What do you say? I will follow this good man <laughs> and go with you. And having sworn truth, ever will be true. Then lead the way, good father. And, oh, no, <laughs> and heaven so shine that they may fairly note this act of mine. <laughs> So 
permissible. Cesario, you do not keep promise with me. <laughs> Madam. Gracious, <laughs> uh, What do you say, Cesario? Good, my lord. My lord <laughs> would speak. My duty hushes me. But if it be aught to the old tune, my lord, it is as fat and fulsome to my ear as howling after music. Still so cruel. Still so constant, lord. What? To perverseness. What should I do? Even what it please, my lord, that it shall become. Oh, why should I not? Had I the heart to do it? Kill what I love. Oh. You are savage, jealousy, that sometimes savours nobly. But hear me this. Since you, to non-regardance, cast my faith, and that I partly know the instrument that screws me from my true place in your favour, live you the marble-breasted tyrant still. But this, your minion, whom I know you love, and whom by heaven I swear I tender dearly, him will I tear out of that cruel eye where he sits crowned in his master's spite. Come, boy, with me. My thoughts are ripe with mischief. I'll sacrifice the lamb that I dread up <laughs> to spite a raven's heart within a dove. No! Put me back on <laughs> Why do you talk to me, sir? I never hurt you. You put you your sword upon me with 
surgeon, Sly. Uh, he's drunk, said Toby, an hour ago. Then he's a rogue. I hate a drunken rogue. <laughs> Like 
of a swear, and all those swearing tokens truly insult. As doth the orbit continent, the fire that is set a day from night. <laughs> Give me your hands, and let me see you in your woman. <laughs>